Well, people who are fully vaccinated can now go maskless. And that's the latest from the CDC today. And tonight we're taking a closer look at the new rules and how they could impact your everyday life. Anyone who is fully vaccinated can participate in indoor and outdoor activities, large or small, without wearing a mask or physical distancing. Dr. Rochelle Walensky, the CDC director, called this step an important moment in the fight against COVID-19. She added that science support these new rules and that fully vaccinated people can have minimal risk of getting sick or spreading COVID-19. So are there any exceptions to these rules? Well, the CDC says even if you're fully vaccinated, it might be a good idea to still keep your mask on while you travel. Crowded planes and packed public transit could increase the risk of infection. And it's also important to note that these rules do not apply in medical settings. So if you're going to the doctor or you end up in the emergency room, chances are you still will have to wear a mask. And the announcement from the CDC today is leading many to ask how this will affect guidelines on a state and local level, especially since Corn County is still in the state's orange tier. Here to break everything down is 23ABC's Austin Westfall, who joins us live in Northwest Bakersfield with what Kern Public Health knows so far. Good evening, Austin. Hey, Alex. Yeah, as is the case with many of these big announcements, Kern Public Health says that they found out at the same time that we did. They say that because of that, there's still a lot of work to be done on those local guidelines before Kern County residents can take off their mask. So we are going to wait for the state's uh, guidance to come out. We don't know how quickly that's going to happen. Thursday's news conference from the CDC marks a major step toward returning to pre-pandemic life. Although the agency says those who are fully vaccinated no longer need to wear masks or socially distance in most situations, the final say for California residents and businesses is going to come from the state. But we look forward to getting the information. And again, it's another incentive to get vaccinated as soon as you can. If you are fully vaccinated, you can start doing the things that you had stopped doing because of the pandemic. The CDC making the announcement as the number of COVID cases and deaths across the country continue to improve, which medical experts attribute to vaccines. We have all longed for this moment when we can get back to some sense of normalcy. Although some questions remain, both the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, and President Joe Biden explaining that some people across the nation will still feel more comfortable wearing their mask, even if they're vaccinated, and that's okay. You see them, please treat them with kindness and respect. As of Thursday, there's no clear directive from the CDC about how exactly businesses or public health departments should move forward with masks. However, the agency stating on its website that fully vaccinated people still need to follow some guidelines in certain situations. Federal, state, local, tribal, or territory laws, rules, and regulations, including businesses and workplace guidance. Now, California officials had said that they already planned to get rid of their outdoor mask mandate by June 15th, but that didn't apply indoors, Alex. And Austin, have any big corporations said anything about how this will impact everyday activities like grocery shopping or even going to the gym? There's been no official word, but our uh, Scripps national correspondent Joe St. George says that there's many large corporations that are having those kind of discussions. They're talking with their risk assessment teams. Ultimately, they're going to decide whether or not people can individually go to their specific businesses, whether they should be wearing masks or not wearing masks. Ultimately, those decisions are what are, what are going to be deciding where you can and cannot wear that mask, Alex. All right. Thank you, Austin. Since the first shots of the COVID vaccine rolled out, top health officials have said that they want to achieve herd immunity before returning to normal. Dr. Anthony Fauci says to meet that goal, close to 85% of the population needs to be fully vaccinated. So, of course, that made us wonder just how close are we meeting that metric. Tonight, we're taking a deeper dive into vaccination rates, not only in the country, but of course, right here in our county. So Johns Hopkins University reports that over 36% of the United States is fully fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Data also shows that about 46% of the nation has had at least one shot of the COVID vaccine and numbers show that California has 33.8% of its population fully vaccinated. Here in Kern County, about 55% of people have gotten at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. 
As those numbers climb, we're taking a closer look at what groups of people are getting vaccinated here locally. So Latinos remain the most populated group in Kern County, making up roughly 40% of the total given shots. White people follow with about 35% and people who listed their race as other are a third with about 7% of total vaccinations. And then Asian Americans make up about 6% of all vaccinations. And let's go ahead and take a look at the latest COVID-19 data here in Kern County. Public Health says one more person has died because of the virus. We've now lost 1,374 people since the beginning of the pandemic. And the department reported just 38 more cases of the virus. There are now 109,177 cases reported within our county.